is rap music. It's another one of those alleged gameplay videos. So welcome back to some PSP action. Micro Machines version 4. Now I've been looking forward to this. I've spent no real time with this. I've only really just created a save file. So yeah, I don't know what to make of it. I was a massive Micro Machines fan. Um, we're just going to do a practice here with some power-ups. Don't fully understand the the power-ups. What's interesting on the settings is that there is a share facility, uh, not just a um, wireless play option. So I'm wondering. I'm going to correct me if I'm wrong. If this uh, this made use of of what the what the DS used to do, uh, you could effectively send. The entire copy of the game over to your friend's machine that was a great idea so I wonder if you can do it with this I've never seen it done on a PSP so we're gonna just gonna go straight into this the gameplay is gonna be awful guys um, my history with micro machines goes all the way back to the Mega Drive absolutely loved it loved it to bits and in a real high point for me I think it was version 3 was that on the PlayStation 1? Loved the visuals. I was a little bit sceptical about going to a kind of quasi-3D engine and polygons. But it really worked. So this is on the snooker table. It's a little bit dark, this one, so I do apologise. The Rock in the PSP 1000. I think what it is, uh, is the, the, it, it, I don't think it translates very well to a handheld. I'm uh, finding it really quite fiddly, quite small. But then again, I'll give it some, uh, I'll give it some practice. Uh, over the chessboard there, was it a chessboard? I believe it was, as opposed to checkers. So I'm picking these up. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Just going to practice really. That's why I've only got gone for one, one AI opponent. Because I got absolutely slaughtered when I tried to do a proper race. Uh, I just need to learn what all the power-ups are. But I do like this. If I can get past the kind of mobility, if you like. The fact that it is, it is on a PSP. Very small. If I can get past that... Uh, I'm likely to progress through this. But you may be surprised, I uh, I chip away at most of the games I've got in the collection. I do like to create a save file, uh, get going on that. Um, I'm trying to think about micro machines on the Mega Drive. It's really shocking that I don't even own any of those. There are quite a few on the 16-bit platform. I'm sure, wasn't one of them? Didn't have the extra ports in the cartridge. Racking my brain now. That also had a snooker table for a track. Yeah, many, many multiplayer hours on that were had. Absolutely great stuff. Uh, there is a racing game on the Xbox 360. It is also compatible with the One. The one family, we shall call it. The name escapes me, but I've done a video on it before. I may put a link in if I can work out how to do it. Uh, but I strongly suggest you play it. It's, it's pretty much a modern uh, Micro Machines clone. Because I've no idea if Micro Machines as a franchise still continues. Uh, but that game on the 360... I think it was called Turbo Machines or something. It's an absolute rip-off. Um, you know, the font for the titles, the whole way the game was presented was a was a complete bare-faced rip-off. But it, it, it's a good game. It, it was a good game. I was still progressing through that. Yeah, it was on Games for Gold at the time. So there you go. There you go, guys. 
not bad, not bad. I need, I do need to practice that. I do need to practice. Micro Machines, version four, on the good old PSP 1000. It's got a few teething problems now. It's getting on a bit, especially with the movies. Sometimes you've got to reject them and put them back in. Otherwise they freeze, but that's expected. Guys, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon, yeah? Bye-bye. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14, 15.